welcome to a very, very special episode of Adidas Game Day Plus. For the first time ever in their history, mighty Real Madrid have given us an access all areas pass to their training ground. We're going to be taking you where no camera crew has ever been allowed to go before and hanging out with some of the biggest stars in Los Blancos. Welcome to the Adidas Game Day Plus Real Madrid special. Later on in the show, we're going to be hanging out with Alvaro Aldaloa. But first, Roman hit the training pitch to find out how to kick the perfect knuckleball. A knuckleball is a no-spin kick that changes direction mid-flight. It's a goalkeeper's nightmare and a deadly skill to have in your locker. We're going to be using the Adidas My Coach Smart Ball that has inbuilt sensors to measure the speed, spin and power of your kick to perfect the technique. Did I mention who's going to be showing us how to kick the perfect knuckleball? Mr. Gareth Bale. We are here in Real Madrid learning how to take the perfect knuckleball with none other than the legend of it himself, Mr. Gareth Bale. How do you really take the perfect knuckleball? It's a completely different style to a regular free kick, really, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. You want to basically run up and hit it in just as flat as you can and as little spin as you can, maybe a bit of top spin to get it up and over the wall and hopefully the air moves the ball and deceives the keeper a bit. Do you reckon you can show me one? I'm trying. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's, let's just give one a go. Here we go, Gareth. Ready? On my whistle. What part of your foot are you really hitting it with? Mainly just the thickest part of your foot and your laces. Yeah. Just to try and get that as I say a little bit of top spin, but sure. A classic style free kick. Yeah. It's more power based and you can get that curl behind it, but this kind of throws all that out the window. Yeah. The ball moves so much that it just confuses the goalkeeper. You don't really need to hit it too hard, I think. The harder you hit it, you don't get control of the ball. So I think if you hit it at just a decent pace and let the ball move with the with the wind instead of it going through too quickly, then you get more movement. All right, on my whistle. That one, that one was nice, I like that one. I like that one, that was good. Okay, so we're gonna go through that now. What did that one say? So that one, we've gone for 59 miles per hour. We've got the spin on that. You don't need to hit it hard. Yeah. Let everything else do the work. So I still can't believe I'm saying this, but that was how to take the perfect knuckleball with Gareth Bale. Gareth, thank you so much, mate. You're welcome, thank no you. problem, anytime. Dream come true. For your chance to win an Adidas My Coach Smart Ball, tell us the RPM that Gareth Bell recorded on the app in the clip. Put your answers in the comments below. Want to find out what the biggest players in the world do when they're not playing football? Well, if you're Marcelo, that might mean heading to your favourite tattoo parlour. Estoy en el coche. La primera cosa que conecto es el Bluetooth. Hip hop, hip hop, hip hop, hip hop, hip hop, hip hop music. Me deja tranquilo, me deja bien. Antes del partido ponemos nuestra música en el vestuario. La mayoría de las veces yo, pero cuando alguien quiere escuchar otro alguna canción canción especial no es ningún problema. Cada uno escucha un poquito. Here we go. Tattoo parlor, Marcelo's here. So, introduce me. Pues, conozco a Beto hace mucho, unos cinco años, yeah. seis. Es aquí donde hago mis tatuajes. Es un gran amigo mío y quería presentar. Does he wince when he gets his tattoos done, when he gets inked up? Like, what's he like? Es la persona más dura que he visto porque mentalmente, eso es el tatuaje representa parte de su vida. Es una unión entre dos personas con un mismo sentimiento y al final, o sea, es el resultado final. Yo creo que es lo que más vale para él. What is it about tattoos that you love? Los tatuajes significan muchas cosas. A mí de verdad no me gusta la gente pregunte sobre mis tatuajes porque es una cosa personal. Yo cada línea sufro pero sufro con ganas. 
every time we see you playing, you're always playing with a smile on your face. Is that a Brazilian thing or is it just you, you just love playing so much? Yo desde niño, mi abuelo me decía que tenía que sonreír, que sonreír a la vida, a la gente, siempre respetando a los demás, siempre dando una, una sonrisa que eso volvería para mí. E encaro eso todo con una sonrisa en la cara. Todos que me conocen saben que que yo soy así. Yo solo, solo bailo el ritmo que, ponen, que pone ahí, pero no instrumento conmigo, no. Can you show me any Brazilian song? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm so shy. Come on, no. come on. I feel pain on my back, no. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's already faking an injury. I've never had a tattoo seen. before. What? Wait a minute. Sit here. He's actually happening, here we go. Come on. Where, where, I've, I don't know if I've, I've done it, if I've, I've got to get this on my leg or something. Mate, my mum likes my skin. Necesito el... Are you ready? I think about someone's actually going to tell me this. Are we actually for real doing it? <laughs> Danny. Danny, are we actually for real? <laughs> no, 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 no. Because I actually need to know. <laughs> oh my hand, man. Oh my hand. Oh yeah. I think I'm going to faint. Just been. Tattooed <laughs> by Marcelo. Thank you very much, my man. Thank you for that. I'll be back. I'll be back. Yeah, get, get the next one. Yeah. I'll see you soon. <laughs> see you then. <laughs> see you. <laughs> Increíble. Nada. We managed to get onto the guest list of La Residencia. La Residencia is where the superstars of Los Blancos hang out when they're not on the training pitch, and showing us around was none other than Alvaro Arbaloa. Arbaloa is about to come out in a minute. Here he is, here he is. Hello. All right. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Lovely to meet you. Thank you very You're much. You're going to be showing me around this yeah, beautiful course. building. Of course. Come on. Let's go. Follow me. <laughs> Such a lovely entrance as well. Sí, esta es la entrada de la residencia. Hacia allí llevamos hacia los vestuarios. Normalmente el siguiente paso suele ser eh, el área de convivencia y ahora te voy a enseñar todo. This is secret door. Puerta secreta. Oh, look at that. Look. Should we go through after you, sir? Got a cinema. Take a seat. Here we go. What game that was. Was mm -hmm. this originally meant to like watch games oh. back, but all of a sudden someone stuck in their favorite film and then just kind of turned it into a cinema? Por supuesto, vemos muchas películas o también algunos partidos. Bueno, nos faltan la cola y las palomitas, pero lo tenemos prácticamente todos. Es una pasada. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to tell Gareth Bell that you laughed at the celebration. Basically, he's just, he's just laughed at Gareth Bell's celebration on, on the Champions League final and he's still ripping him for it. Yeah. Should we move on? Vamos. Let's do it. Great view as well, look at that. I say look at that as if you've never seen it before. Es increíble. I'm actually buzzing right now. Aquí mucha de la historia del Real Madrid. It's almost a boyhood club. When you see its history, oh. yeah, are you proud? Muy, muy, muy orgulloso. La gente que está en esta estantería y, y bueno, casi se te ponen los, los pelos de punta, ¿no? Te, te impresiona, ¿no? Ver la gente que, que ha pasado por aquí, por este club, que son grandísimos futbolistas, eh, leyendas. Luego aquí ya tenemos estas mesas. Podemos, te voy a enseñar. It's where it gets a bit competitive. Trivial, el pachis. I've heard that the players play this on the plane. Sí, sí, sí. This is this is a fan. <laughs> Who's the best at this? Yo soy el mejor. Yo yeah. soy el mejor. Sí, sí. Le gano, le gano a todos. Esta. Ahí está. Look. What's with the like it's like secret walls everywhere? Oh, sí. I'm gonna get lost. I'm gonna get lost. <laughs> this is where everyone is. Man. <laughs> Esto para tenerlo en tu casa sería sensacional. Tenemos para jugar a la play, billar, tenemos el chimpón, futbolín, maldito. Aquí a los coches, a los dardos. Y bueno, estamos mucho, mucho tiempo. Yo creo que esta es la sala preferida por, por todos los jugadores. Is it always the young players on, sí. on FIFA? Who am I always going to see sat right there? Bueno, pues Isco, Carvajal, Nacho, Yarra, están siempre allí dándole duro, así que, que bueno, mejor no jugar contra ellos porque luego tienes cachondeo para varios días. It's like one of those dream houses. Like, you know, you, you, know, you know what I mean? Like, you see a brochure, it's like secret door. Sí. Like. <laughs> Última parada de la residencia. Soy de los que más lo uso. I've heard you have races with a few of the players. Un poquito, unas, algunas carreras sí que echamos, pero normalmente después de entrenar también sirve para, para relajarte. ¡Wow! ¿Y esta es tu zona de entrenamiento? Es increíble. Estoy en un holiday aquí. 
ya no solo para pues, venir a nadar un rato, sino para hacer el trabajo gente que está lesionada. Vienes aquí pues, a hacer un trabajo para los lesionados, correr en la piscina. Es una pasada, ¿no? Es increíble. Alvaro, thank you very much. Welcome to meet you. Real Madrid doesn't just attract the biggest stars in the universe, it also creates them. Nacho joined Real at just 10 years old, so we talked to him about what it's like growing up at Real Madrid. So we're here at the Real Madrid training ground with Nacho, first team player, and he's going to tell us what it takes to become a Real Madrid superstar. So you joined Real Madrid at the age of 10. Tell us what that very first day was like. I remember that it was a day of special because I was fulfilling one of my dreams, which was to play in Real Madrid. And the fact that when you're so small and you get to a place like this, it's very special. Well, as a advice for a child of 10 years, que entra aquí en el Real Madrid, sobre todo que disfrute cada entrenamiento, porque nunca sabes cuándo puede terminar esto y que vivir el día a día aquí la experiencia pues es muy bonito, intentar aprovechar todos los entrenamientos y partidos al máximo para intentar llegar lo más arriba. So here we've got a model of the whole of the complex. Can you just explain a little bit of this? Eso está, se supone que está construido para que cuando entras por aquí, todos los edificios, según vas pasando de categoría, vas ascendiendo de equipo. Está hecho para que empieces desde si empiezas desde abajo, cuando llegas aquí al primer equipo has pasado por todas las categorías. Yo, por ejemplo, he tenido la suerte de ir desde abajo hasta arriba. Aquel es el estadio del, del Real Madrid Castilla, donde tengo muchísimos partidos allí. So Nacho is now going to show us inside the dressing room of Real Madrid Castilla. Este vestuario he vivido yo momentos muy especiales porque aparte de unos grandísimos compañeros como tenía, también jugaba con mi hermano. Aquí vivimos un ascenso eh, cuando subimos a segunda división. Yo tenía guardada que me la daba el utillero que, que tenía yo, que se llama Leo y, y Peri, que me parece que hoy no está. Y estas son las botas que utilizaba aquí cuando estaba en, en el Real Madrid Castilla y bueno, con estos he tenido muchísimos entrenamientos y partidos y para mí... So as you said, there's so many memories in here, celebrations. What was the funniest thing that's ever happened to you in this dressing room? Pues recuerdo... <laughs> recuerdo que yo estaba allí sentado y mi hermano se puso en calzoncillos y con unas zapatillas de, de payaso así enormes. También se puso como una especie de calva y un bigote y se puso a bailar por todo el vestuario y cada día tenías algo de, de, de qué reírte aquí. Is coaching something that you want to get into? You want to be teaching the younger players here as well. Me gusta, me gusta el tema de ser entrenador. De hecho, estoy a punto de acabar. Me solo me faltan las prácticas del tercer nivel. Para mí, lo que sería pues ser jugador y además poder ser entrenador en un futuro sería algo muy bonito. So you're off the training now before you leave us. How important is it to give it your all in every training session? Posiblemente sea lo más importante. Tú quieres y siempre hay un dicho que dicen que que juegas como entrenas. Entonces, por eso posiblemente sea de las cosas más importantes. Pero bueno. Con estas instalaciones y con todas las cosas que tenemos aquí, bueno, la verdad es que todo es mucho más fácil. Nacho, muchas gracias. Muchas gracias a ti, un placer. So that's it from Real Madrid. We'll see you soon for the knockout stages of the UEFA Champions League. Make sure you subscribe to Adidas Football's YouTube channel so you don't miss a single episode. Thank you very much for watching Adidas Game Day Plus.